जय जगन्नाथ फ्रेंड्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी अबाउट द रीमन स्टेलजेस इंटीग्रल दैट इज द जेनरेशन ऑफ रीमन इंटीग्रल व्हिच यू हैव ऑलरेडी स्टडीड लेट अल्फा एक्स बी ए फंक्शन ए फॉर ऑल एक्स टू ग्रेटर देन एक्स वन वैल्यू ऑफ द फंक्शन एफ एक्स टू ए ग्रेटर देन इक्वल टू एफ एफ एक्स वन देन द फंक्शन इज सेट टू बी monotonically increasing and in study of the riemann stelzius integral we are going to deal with such types of function what will be the graph of this function suppose this is origin this is the x axis this is the y axis this might be here see if this is the graph of the function this is not decreasing either the, the function value are equal suppose this may be the graph here c for every x2 greater than x1 the functional value is more and not decreasing similarly this may be the this may be the graph of the function or this might also be the graph of the function here see the function is discontinuous but it is not decreasing this is monotonically increasing that means for all the x2 greater than x1 fx2 is greater than equal to fx1 and in the study of riemann stelzius in integral let this be the graph of the function alpha x we are going to consider a monotonic let alpha x be a monotonically monotonically increasing function you see this is increasing and not decreasing this is point a and this is point b this is the closed interval a b and a partition is divided in such a way, way that suppose this is this point is x1 this is x2 this is this may be x3 and suppose this goes on and this is suppose x i minus 1 this is x i and so on and this b is equal to x n and a is equal to x 0 this is a partition consisting of x 0 x 1 x 2 so on x i minus 1 x i and so on up to x n which is equal to b let this be a partition let p b a partition in the closed interval a comma b so what is the this is the graph of the function alpha x what is the value of the function here this is alpha a and this is alpha b so in this sub interval x i minus 1 to x i c this is the value of the function alpha x i minus 1 and this one is alpha x i and it it is clearly visible that alpha x i is more than alpha x i minus 1 because alpha x i is greater than equal to alpha x i minus 1 because the function we have taken is a monotonically increasing function hence for all this happens for all i and 
This implies alpha xi minus alpha xi minus 1 is greater than equal to 0. This difference is called delta alpha xi and this is a positive quantity because this is greater than or equal to 0. This is also written as delta alpha i.